Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 3.5 from Sadiku book. So the question is calculate the mass currents I1 and I2 of the figure. So we have mass currents, so we need to use loop analysis, which we need to use KVL. So let's start by doing exactly that. So we'll have KVL at loop I1. So KVL at loop I1. And what does KVL say? KVL said that the sum of the currents, I mean the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to Z. Okay. Now let's start by looking at this voltage source here. The current is flowing from negative to positive. So I will have the negative sign minus. And the magnitude of this voltage source is 45. So I will have minus 45. And then... We move on to other components, which is this 2 ohm. So I will have 2. Because we need voltage, we need to multiply the resistance by the, the current. So we get a voltage. So we have 2 multiplied by the current. The only current that passed through this 2 ohm resistor is just I1. So 2 I1 and then plus. So for this 12, we need to multiply it by I1 here. But we have I2 here, which is flowing to the opposite direction than I1. So I will have minus I2. And then lastly, we have this 4 ohm resistor, which has only I2 pass through it. So I will have 4 I2. And all of them will equal to 0. Okay? Because we have listed all the components. And let's do simplification here. So I want to move this minus 45 to the right hand side. So I'll have 45 on the right hand side. And then for I1, the coefficient will be 2 plus 12, which is 14. 14 plus 4 will be 18. So I'll have 18 I1. And for I2, I only have this part here, which is minus 12 I2. Minus 12 I2. And I think we need to save this equation as equation. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to other loop, which is loop 2. So let's start doing KVL at loop 2. KVL at loop I2. Which is the sum of the voltage in a loop is equal to 0. Okay, let's start from this 12 ohm resistor. So I'll have 12. Okay, we now work at I2. So I2 will come first. But here, I1 is flowing to the opposite direction as I2. So I will have minus I1. Okay. And now let's move on to this 9. So I'll have 9. And the only current that passed through this 9 ohm resistor is I2. So I'll have I2 here. And then this voltage source, which is 30 volt, but the current is flowing from positive to negative, so the sign will be positive. So I have plus 30. And lastly, we have 3 ohm resistor here, which the current passed through it is only I2. And all of that will equal to 0. Okay, I mean this will, should be I1, right? And this should be I1. Okay, now let's do some simplification here. We can move this 30 to the right hand side. So I will have minus 30 on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, I think we will have minus 12 I1. The only place that we get I1 is that place. And for I2, I will have 12 plus 9 plus 3. 12 plus 9 is 21. 21 plus 3 is 24, so I'll have plus 24 I2. Okay, we have linear system equation here from number 1 and number 2. We can solve this by using maybe calculator. The easiest way is using calculator. So I will have this 18 and then minus 12 and then minus 12, 24 multiplied by I1 and I2, I1 and I2, 
and then I will have on the right hand side will be 45 and minus 30. Okay. Now let's solve this using calculator. So maybe let's set this first set up. So this button first and then number five, which is to solve equation. And two variables need number one number one and then let's put the numbers 18 minus 12 and then 45 and then minus 12 and then 24 and then minus 30 so i will have this x x is i1 so i1 will be 2.5 i1 will be 2.5 and the unit will be ampere because we work on si unit and then I2, what is I2? I2 is the Y1, which is zero, zero ampere. So let's highlight the final answer of this work. So I will have 2.5 ampere and zero ampere as I1 and I2. And it is exactly the same as the answer given by the book. So I did not make any mistake in the calculation. So hopefully this will help you to understand this problem and see you in the next video bye bye